Hi everyone, my name is Caleb. Um, I recently made a video regarding using Lugia in regionals and how it helped me win uh, the tournament I was at. This is a follow-up video to that one just because um, I wanna clear up a few things and clarify um, the usage of Lugia and um, how you can use it and when you shouldn't use it, as well as some key matchups with that because um, I mentioned that previous video that I use Lugia in every one of my matches and that is true, but um, I don't, think that that is the best advice. Um, I don't want to overhype Lugia in terms of what it can do. Um, it is very useful in certain situations, but it does also lose in other situations as well. So if you haven't seen the previous video, you can look into my justification for why I pick Lugia and the movesets I pick for the rest of my team. I really appreciate the feedback that I got from uh, my last video. There were definitely um, a lot of questions about certain counters that Lugia may face and how you play around that. So um, I'm going to cover a couple of different things in this video. How Lugia can play around Sableye, when you should use Lugia versus when you should not um, against certain lineups, and then also how to counter Lugia. In this first matchup, I'm playing against Alpha Phoeb, um, a buddy of mine, and I asked him to bring Sableye into our matches, and I told him I'll bring Lugia. No specific order, so that way, you know, we can't like script anything, but I just want to see how it does organically. Um, I switched in with Whiskash, uh, knowing he has a Venusaur. Um, <laughs> very tricky thing about Whiskash is it could charge Blizzard pretty quickly, so right there, uh, I kind of got um, kind of an easy uh, advantage against him because he probably thought I was bluffing with my bomb. Um, right here, I'm just gonna let Whiskash um, shield right here so that I could really chip down the Sableye. Um, it makes it easier for my Lugia later on, um, or he'll have to burn some shields. And at this point, I'm just gonna let Whiskash go just because um, I still have uh, a zoom rail in the back to deal with it, and a zoom rail is a really good counter for Sableye. Um, and right here too, my zoom rail actually has Hydro Pump as well. So it, Azumarill itself can pretty much take out Bastidon and um, Sableye in this situation. Um, had he shielded that Hydro Pump, I still would have gotten to another Hydro Pump in time before um, he would faint my Azumarill. And so that's why um, I just went straight for the Hydro Pump. There's no point in uh, bluffing with shields, uh, bluffing for, um, to, for him to shield in that situation. And I use Play Rough right here take out Sableye. Um, he still had a shield left, but at that point, there really was no way for him to really come back. I still had a full health Lugia as well, and even though Sableye is stronger than Lugia, um, it's still a huge uh, disadvantage um, looking at his HP. Uh, right here, uh, Lugia versus Venusaur, I had a positive um, matchup right there, and so I switched right to Azumarill when he switches in Bastiodon. Um, and at this point, too, uh, he knows I have Hydro Pump on this Azumarill, so I try to bluff a Play Rough. Um, or I try to use Play Rough to bluff a shield out of him just because, uh, you know, you would anticipate a Hydro Pump, but uh, smart play by him, he doesn't take the bait. Um, at this point, I'm going to try to uh, get to um, get a shield off of him because he's already low health, so even if it hits, it takes a decent amount of life. And so he does shield that one, and I'm gonna try for one more play rough at this point. There's no point in charging for a Hydro Pump just because um, the health of the Bastidon's really low. So this is good because now I have the switch advantage and I'll know what he's coming in with. He comes with Venusaur, that's really good. I will follow up with um, Lugia and uh, a Sky Attack is uh, gonna do quite a bit of damage to Venusaur unshielded. Right here, I choose to shield it just because Sludge Bomb will take at least about a third of Lugia's health left. And I'm gonna use a Sky Attack against a Sableye and switch out real quick. Um, Sky Attack does almost half of Sableye's life right there. So even though Sableye is a strong counter to Lugia, it still can do quite a bit of damage. And uh, luckily I switched right away to Whiskash. And so that way the Whiskash took the um, Dark Pulse damage. And then from here, um, Whiskash, obviously not a great matchup for Venusaur because I can't get to Blizzard. So I'm just gonna um, spam it down with a Mud Bomb and he's banking some energy right here, uh, which is kind of tricky just because Lugia um, doesn't fare that well to Sludge Bomb, but it's still fairly bulky, so um, it's able to take down the Venusaur with just Extra Sensory. Um, so that's why Extra Sensory is a really good fast move. So um, in these matches, I'm gonna show you how to use Lugia um, against you know non-Sableye lineups, just, just in general when you should. Um, if you look at uh, Craig James's lineup right here, um, the main thing is he has a Medicham and a Venusaur, which means that there are two things that um, that Lugia can take out. 
right? So that's a good matchup right there. Obviously not a great idea to be matched up with a Quagsire. Um, so right here, I'm gonna just try to take it out with Mud Bombs. Um, I believe if Quagsire uses two Earthquakes, it's just, it's not great for um, Whiskash, maybe even an Earthquake and uh, Stone Edge. So it's not a very favorable matchup for me, but I'm gonna try to have the switch advantage here. So I'm gonna try to do whatever I can to take out this Quagsire first. And so he gets to a Stone Edge um, right before I can take it out with Fast Move. So I do burn my second shield on this, right? And so I'm at a one shield disadvantage, but it's okay because I know he has Venusaur still and my Lugia can, can take that out. Um, and so from here, he switches right into Skarmory. Skarmory is a pick that a lot of people pick against my team. Um, something I've mentioned to some people is knowing that a lot of people are going to pick Skarmory against me, I almost always anticipate fighting one uh, in a set of three. And so that, even though I'm kind of at a disadvantage because Skarmory is a little bit harder for me to address with my lineups, um, I always know to pick at least one to two things I can take out Skarmory as well so that I have a slight upper hand in that um, going into the match. Um, right here, uh, Flamethrower on Venusaur. Um, he's going to shield that. And uh, it's okay if he takes out this Bastiodon, just because um, I still have the Lugia in the back. But what I think he's doing right now is just charging up energy to hit my Lugia with a Sludge Bomb. Um, because if he takes out that Bastiodon and wastes all his energy, there was no way he's come back anyway. So um, that was a good situation for me to be in. Um, right here, bad matchup uh, in the sense that Melmetal will take out Lugia. Um, if you look at his lineup right here, he doesn't have a very strong Metacham counter. Um, it seems like Azumarill and Skarmory are the only two, and uh, Metacham can take out Skarmory uh, if it has shields. And so you'll see right here, um, I feel pretty comfortable here, even though I know that um, I'm probably going to have to both burn both of my shields in order to beat the Skarmory, but I want that switch priority, um, or yeah, advantage in this situation. So um, I'm going to burn both of my shields against the Skarmory, but that's okay because I know what's coming up next, and um, I really wasn't anticipating using um, my Medicham for much else. Yeah, he has Melmetal in the back, but I have a Bastiodon. And so this is one of the reasons why I chose Bastiodon in my lineup as well, because it does beat the head-to-head -head, um, with Melmetal. Um, I think with like Bronze on as well to some other random stuff um, that you might not see as much. So right here, very smart play by him. He switched into Melmetal and tried to hit me a Rock Slide. Um, I kind of anticipated this, so I had uh, the switch screen kind of ready for it. Um, but had that hit my Lugia, that would have probably um, taken out most of Lugia's health. Um, it still would be kind of tricky to come back just because um, this Bastiodon is just very tanky. And at this point, I'm just farming energy um, off of this Melmetal until the point where um, I pretty much can uh, take it out and um, potentially have enough for the, ne uh, for the next charge move. Even if I don't, and so he goes straight in with the Medicham, um, the main purpose was I didn't want the Medicham to be able to farm any energy off of my Bastiodon um, because then it would be able to hit my Lugia with Ice Punches. Um, it probably still wouldn't have been enough because at the health my Lugia is at right now, it could still take two Ice Punches and be okay. Um, so yeah, so um, that was a good match right there. Now I'm at a disadvantage again right here with Lugia against Azumaro. Um, this, I think this is really good because it could really show you how you can maneuver out uh, around uh, first round, first matchups when you're at a disadvantage. Um, like I said, his only counters uh, are Azumarill and uh, Skarmory for Medicham. So um, this is not a great situation to switch into with my Medicham, but um, I believe I have a Bastiodon in the back end as well as a Lugia. And both of them will lose to an Ice Beam Azumarill. Um, and so... Oh no, sorry. Lugia will lose to Ice Beam and Zumero, and Bastiodon um, probably won't if it doesn't have Hydro Pump. Um, that was a good switch in by Craig just because um, I was using Power Punch on uh, Venusaur and didn't do that much. Um, so right here, um, the extra sensory is really kicking in um, because you can farm energy off of this Venusaur. Um, I let this Sludge Bomb go just because my main goal here is to take out the Venusaur, right? And I'll have some charge um, charge moves ready as well. So I'm going to just use this quickly on the Skarmory. Um, and he's going to shield it just in case it was a Hydro Pump, which it really could have been. Um, but at this point, like I said, just like before, Bastiodon can farm a lot of energy off of Skarmory. Um, I'm not going to gamble this one as much just because um, I'm not going to just sit there and take charge attacks from Skarmory because I know that this is Zoom Row. 
that was a smart play by Craig because um, I just emptied out my energy on that Skarmory, so I had to rebuild it back up to that Stone Edge. Um, he probably just couldn't get to that Hydro Pump in time on the Zoom row, um, but you know, that would have been best case scenario for him to be able to get to that Hydro Pump and take out my Bastion, because once he's in that scenario, Skarmory could potentially beat the Lugia matchup. Um, but at this point, um, it's pretty much uh, game over for the Skarmory, uh, just because um, it's against a Bastion and um, it still had quite a bit of health. Um, this, these are some other scenarios against um, a, a different uh, one of my friends, Palmers. Um, he knows uh, the meta very, very well. He does a lot of write-ups with um, other Pokemon Go players too. So um, he's definitely a very strong opponent. Um, and I pretty much just told him, use whatever you can to beat my lineup, right? Um, and so this is a pr very meta lineup if you look at what he has. Um, and But if you look, there is a meta Cham and a Venusaur. And so two potential things that Lugia can take out. Um, Lugia doesn't really want to trade a lot of matches with Haunter, um, although it could potentially take it out in certain shield situations. It's just not a good usage of Lugia. Um, the main thing is, yeah, Lugia can even potentially be a Zumro with Play Rough and Hydro Pump. Um, you don't want to waste your Lugia on that matchup because um, you want to save it for the Medishim and the Venusaur, right? That's where it excels. And that's where it could build up additional energy for the next uh, Pokemon that comes out and take, right? So right here, I'm doing a couple switches here or there. Um, again, Bastiodon walls off Skarmory even when it's getting hit with Flash Cannon. So right here, um, I'm just going to farm a little bit of additional energy just so that um, I can, you know, use the Flamethrower and potentially have another one um, whatever with for whatever else comes out next. I'm playing it kind of close right here just because... Um, so he shields that one, right? And so if he gets to a Sky Attack or a Flash Cannon again, uh, I'm pretty much done. But because I did far charge up a lot of energy prior, um, that ended up working well for me because I ended up burning a shield and still taking out Skarmory before taking any additional damage. Right here, um, not a great situation for Metachamp to be in uh, just because Azumarill can take it out. And so even though um, I lost my uh, Lugia earlier, um, it's fine because I still have the Zoom to back it up, right? Um, so it doesn't have to be that your Lugia has to match up with the Medicham, um, but it is, uh, so it's always good to have a second option as well if you have one. Uh, right here, pretty good matchup, uh, Lugia versus um, Minazor, and again, switch to Skarmory, I have the Bastiodon to back it up, right? And so right here, um, I can just kind of chip away with uh, Smackdown and charge up a lot of extra energy for that Flamethrower. Um, there's always a risk of him when his switch clock is up and he can switch to something else to counter the Bastiodon. But um, because we both switched simultaneously pretty quickly, um, I would be able to switch shortly right after. Um, at this point, I'm just going to start hitting with flamethrowers uh, just because um, the goal I uh, was going for was pretty much done. And if I could get to this flamethrower, and I unfortunately can't, right? Um, but good news is that the Medicham wasn't able to build that much energy off of my Bastion. So right here, I figure it's probably Ice Punch. And because I still had two shields left, um, it's worth uh, just shielding that one. Um, and then he shields the Sky Attack, um, and I could get to another Sky Attack faster than he could get to an Ice Punch, right? Which is pretty big, all right? Um, he's going to hit me with this Ice Punch right here. Um, I'm not going to shield it just because the goal is to take out the Mana Chain, and I did. And I know that he has a Venus run the back. Um, I actually like let this second ice punch go too, right? So that was two ice punches he hit me with plus a bunch of um, counters. Right here, I'm going to just hit the Venusaur with a sky attack. Um, I know that he's probably going to shield it, um, but my third Pokemon in the back is Metacham. And I know that Metacham with ice punch can take out this Venusaur and it could even take a frenzy plant hit. And I still have a shield, so um, even if he gets the two frenzy plants, I'll be okay. So um, that's the main reason why I didn't shield um, the Lugia because I knew I had this back option and you know depending on how things went I probably still could have won if I shielded the ice punches with Lugia but um, you never know especially because some Medicham's might be bluffing with power punch um, and that might just be a wasted shield okay so um, this is the scenario where you don't want to use Lugia I'm using it just to show you the why it's not useful and so if you look at Palmer's lineup now he switched out the Medicham for a wish cash and what that means essentially is out of his lineup, there's really only one thing that Medi uh, that Lugia has a strong um, matchup with, and that's Venusaur, right? And so, yeah, you saw that the Lugia took out Haunter right there, but like I said, you don't want to 
be put Lugia in situations where you're kind of trading blow for blow, right? You might narrowly win that matchup, but it's just not a good use of Lugia. Um, and so right here, I'm kind of in a tricky situation. Um, I try to bluff with the Mud Bomb, but he doesn't fall for it, right? And I kind of, I really need to take out the Skarmory, so I actually just bluff again with Mud Bomb, um, making him think that hopefully it was a Blizzard because I'm so low on health that I've got to kind of have to use Blizzard at this point. Um, that's why I actually shield this one last time because I know I could probably get to this um, actual Blizzard in time, and I do. And unless he was willing to blow both shields on this Wish Cash, uh, you know, he's going to take the Blizzard hit. So um, that was a decent play, but like I said, it's just not a great matchup to be in um, when they don't have a Bandage Ham and they only have a Venusaur. Um, I'm trying to think, does he even... I don't even think he brings a Venusaur in this matchup. Um, no, he doesn't. So he brought Haunter, Skarmory, and Azumarill, right? So what does my Lugia really beat in that lineup? Maybe the Haunter, but like even then, it's just not... You know, it's not really worth it. So right here, I'm in a bad situation. I need to take out this Azumarill, and he still has a shield, right? And so right here, um, he just tanks this guy deck because he knows he can, and then he's going to hit my Lugia with an Ice Beam. While still having a shield too, like, it's... I, there's no way I could win this situation at this point because I know he's going to shield the play rough, and then he can hit me with the Ice Beam, which charges faster than I can get to another play rough for sure. Um, so good play by Palmer's right there. And... Um, you're going to see that I'm going to try the same exact lineup again, right? Just to really prove a point that this is a lineup that you don't want to use Lugia in, right? And so this is a situation where even um, if you love Lugia um, and you've gotten positive results, this is not going to be one of them, right? Um, not only does he not have a lot of things susceptible to Lugia, he has a lot of counters to Lugia, right? Whisk Cash, hitting, a, hitting a, uh, Lugia with a Blizzard can be deadly. Um, it's not really a true counter, but it's definitely something that could do some damage, Azumarill with Ice Beam, Skarmory wins the head-to-head, -head, um, unless you get really lucky on some Hydro Pump uh, hits. Um, Lantern beats it um, with Thunderbolts and Haunter. It's, it depends on Shield scenario. It might may or may not beat it. So not only do I only have a Venusaur to use the Lugia against, I also have four to five things that can counter my Lugia, right? Um, so right here, not a great situation because I really don't have a answer to his Azumarill with my Lugia Azumarill Wish Cash lineup. And so I'm just doing whatever I can to take out this zoom reel. Unfortunately, um, he got to the ice beam beforehand, and so that's one of the benefits of having the ice beam zoom reel as well. Um, so right here, I have a Lugia going against the Skarmory. Not an ideal situation. Um, so I'm back to the whole wish cab to Skarmory mind games. Last time, he didn't shield um, the mud bomb and so my guess is he's going to think that i'm going to go in with the blizzard again this first time right and um two back-to-back -back sky attacks too is not ideal either so um i use a mud bomb and this time he shields because he probably thought that i was going to switch it up but i chose not to and then i'm going to hit him with a blizzard right um so even though i had like a pretty good um match up with Whiskash to Skarmory given the situation, um, you know, hitting him with the right moves and making him shield the wrong moves, I'm still not going to win this match, right? Um, and, you know, so you'll see right here um, against this Whiskash, this Skarmory is not going to do enough damage. Um, Whiskash can take uh, three sky attacks uh, from Lugia, and so he can pretty much hit me with just a mud bomb and take me out too at this point. Um, yeah, I had a Sky Tag pretty much charged at that point. Um, <laughs> yeah, she hit me with a Blizzard too. Um, I guess just to really make sure I'm taking it out. Um, so this is the third match, and this is where I sub out um, Lugia, right? At this point, I'm going to go with Bastidon, Venusaur, and Wish Cash, right? Um, Lugia is just not a good matchup um, in this situation, and I'm bringing this different lineup to show you that um, it's not necessarily that... I mean, Palmer's is a great player, right? But um, it's it's his lineup is also very counters um, Lugia very hard, right? And so if I bring a different lineup, um, it's much harder for him to deal with, um, even though he's a really great player too, right? So right here, um, Wish Cash to Wish Cash Mirror, um, probably not the most ideal situation, um, but he switches to Skarmory, and that was really smart of him. So he waited till I used the Mud Bomb before um, switching to Skarmory. I play some more mind games here, and I end up getting the Blizzard off successfully. Um, like, like I said, going against Wish Cash is can be a stressful situation because you really don't know what's coming at you. 
Um, and right here, I'm just gonna go straight for the Mud Bomb because I know I'm just gonna die before getting to the Blizzard. Um, but that was a good trade-off. Um, and uh, I think I had charge move priority right there, so he ended up wasting his energy on kind of a low health wish cash. My guess is he was afraid that it was gonna he was gonna get hit by Blizzard um, when I was using the Mud Bomb. So pass it on back in, um, and right here I switched straight to Venusaur. Um, I could have just used my Bastion down a little bit and let it die, but my main thing is I didn't want that wish cash to charge any additional energy off of my Bastion on when um, it's got to go against the Venusaur, right? Because it's going to hit me with blisters. I still have a shield at this point too, so um, I knew that that was going to be a favorable matchup. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Don't use Lugia in those situations. Use a different lineup, right? Um, so this is me going against Craig James again, but he is going to have a Lugia in his lineup, right? And so what I bring to this one is Bastida and Zumero and Wishcash, right? I don't bring my Lugia against this lineup because, again, you have to look at the opponent's lineup and see if it's actually useful. It's really only useful against the Magicham, and that's it, right? I don't want to really do a mirror matchup with Lugia. Um, Lugia does not want to go against Zumero, especially if it has Ice Beam. Quagsire has Stone Edge, so that's not going to be ideal. And then uh, Mug has both Thunder Punch and Dark Pulse in all likelihood, and both of those are super effective against Lugia. And then Melmetal, of course, with um, the Rock Slides, the Thunderbolts, um, it could take out Lugia. So in that situation, um, uh, I decided to bring uh, the other three Pokemon instead, and I had a feeling that he was probably going to be testing Lugia as well. Um, so great chance to really test to see if um, uh, my lineup can take on opposing Lugias. Um, something to note as well is my lineup has both Venusaur and Metacham. So it's a potential lineup that is weak to uh, Lugia. But So those are one of the situations where if you have a lineup where you have Metacham and uh, Venusaur or and Ivysaur, um, Toxicroak even, you know, uh, think about the fact that they may be bringing Lugia to counter those two Pokemon and just don't bring them, right? Um, right here, I feel pretty good uh, just because I have a Bastiodon going against a Lugia. Um, doesn't take it out with one Stone Edge, but... Um, that's a good switch on him to avoid any further damage and deal some damage to my Bastiodon. Um, right here, I'm going to just try to get to a Flamethrower, and I do, which is great. Uh, and um, I'm able to take out the Melmetal. Um, at this point, even if I didn't take out the Melmetal, I have a Wishcash in the back, and I was probably going to just farm energy off of that Melmetal with the Wishcash. Right here, uh, Lugia... Um, like you saw before, Wishcash can take two Sky Attacks and be fine from Lugia, and I have a Shield Advantage um, and full health, so um, that's definitely a tough matchup. Um, I'm going to bring the same exact lineup again just because it works so well, and I figured that um, he's going to have uh, a little different and switch things up. So, goes against Muk. Muk is not a great matchup against Bastiodon. Uses Qu uh, Quagsire right here, and I do do a switch just in time. I figure it's probably going to be Earthquake, and that's going to hit Azumarill fairly hard, so um, I did want to shield that just because I need a way to get rid of this uh, Quagsire because I didn't bring any grass with me. Um, I brought, uh, what do you call it, Whiskash and Azumarill. So just trying to take out this Quagsire at this point. Um, I don't shield this because I figured it was probably a Stone Edge, which it was based on the speed of the charge, um, and then I'm going to use a play off right here to try to faint out his Quagsire. He does end up um, shielding it, so, um, and then he now swaps into the Lugia. Um, swapping into Lugia, um, I wouldn't recommend, just because that means that you're locked in, right? So now his Lugia is completely locked in with my Bastidon, and I could farm it with Smackdowns. Now Lugia obviously has Hydro Pump, and this is probably uh, what I figured he was gonna hit me with. I actually let it go, just to show you how much damage it does. And as you can see, Bastiodon, uh, which came in with a little bit less than full health, can still take a full Hydro Pump and survive, right? So one of those situations where you just don't want your Lugia to be trapped in, even though it has a Hydro Pump option. The whole purpose of Lugia is to maximize what it's doing for your team, right? If you're using it in unfavorable matchups, even though it has the option to help um, you know, beat uh, certain things, like with Hydro Pump, it's just, it's just not great. Um, right here, Wish Cash super effective against the muck uh, so that's a great setup for me and um, that's the game right there and so in this last match um, i decided to just bring my lugia against his lineup and you'll see why it's not great right he has a much better uh matchup with me if he brings lugia versus i don't so even though i win the head-to-head -head, or in the first um uh, match 
or in the first uh, Lugia to um, uh, Medicham situation, um, I quickly switch and I try, or I tried to switch, but I ended up uh, failing. Um, it's not too bad though because I was going to bring in Venusaur and had Venusaur got hit by the Ice Beam, it would have been the same thing, so I would have used the shield anyway. Um, so Venusaur, um, trying to take out this Azumarill, uh, I don't uh, use a shield right here because I know that it could survive one more Ice Beam. And the whole purpose here is to faint out Azumarill with as little health as possible so that his Lugia can't farm that much energy off of my Venusaur. Because uh, my Venusaur's not going to do any damage to his Lugia. And so that's what he comes out with. He comes out with Lugia. And right here, um, I believe I bring out Whiskash. Whiskash with Blizzard can take out Lugia. Um, so we're both at one shield apiece. And so this is one of those situations where I gotta figure out a way to bluff out the shield, right? And so do I use Mud Bomb or I just go straight for Blizzard and he thinks I'm going for um, uh, Mud Bomb, right, for the shield bait. Um, so I end up using Mud Bomb um, and Craig actually reads this perfectly, right? And so he doesn't shield. And then at this point, my wish has about to die, so I need to pretty much use Blizzard in order to take him out. And shields that one, and uh, that pretty much was the deciding factor for this match. Um, had I taken out that Lugia with Blizzard, it would have been a little bit closer. Um, but, you know, he still has that uh, Azumarill um, in the back. Or no, sorry. Was it Azumarill? Or was it Medi It was Medicham. So he still had a Medicham as well um, after his Lugia. And that would still be hard for my Lugia just because it's already uh, almost dead. So uh, one Ice Punch and it's pretty much done. So you're going to see right here. Um, it's going to need more than one Sky Attack to take out a Medicham. A few fast hits or another Sky Attack would do it, but at this point, there's no way I could get to that fast enough. And so he used the Ice Punch and takes me out. And so, as you can see, um, in this matchup, Lugia is just not a great pick to bring, um, again. Uh, but if you picked a lineup similar to what I had before with Bastion and Zumo with Cash, and it, it would take out Lugia really quickly, right? Because there's really nothing that the Lugia can easily beat on my team. So hopefully this clears up a lot of things for people. Um, obviously, if you have any further questions, feel free to drop a comment uh, or shoot me a message on Discord or Reddit. Um, but essentially, Lugia is not for everyone, obviously. Uh, I really enjoyed using Lugia. Um, but the most important thing is, regardless if you use Lugia or not, it's always important to know how to play around Lugia and, and counter Lugia, right? Because, you know, with, I think before this past week, um, there weren't that many people using Lugia, but now that more people are talking about it, there you may see more. Um, another key matchup that Lugia uh, wins very decisively is against Gallade. And Gallade has um, really shot up in how often it's being used um, in regionals, or at least um, from what I've seen from practice matches. And I think a lot of that was uh, due to Valor Ash using it and um, winning his regionals with uh, Gallade on his team. And so um, this is one of those times where the meta may be shifting and the anti-meta is starting to become more meta, right? And so having Lugia against more people that may be bringing Gallade on their teams uh, can be very, very useful too. Um, so hopefully uh, this was helpful. Um, if uh, you'd like to see more content, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching and uh, best of luck on your regionals um, if it's uh, coming up in the next few weeks.